Hi, this lesson is about solving rational equations. So there'll be several steps that we need to take in order to solve these types of equations, and they are listed right here. First, you want to identify the LCD of the equation. So if you have a rational expression on both sides of the equal sign, make sure you're looking at all of the denominators. Um, but you might just have a rational expression only on one side. Uh, then you want to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. What this does is it cancels the denominators. This is really important. That makes your equation already look a lot simpler. And um, for our purposes, it will end up being either uh, a linear equation or a quadratic equation. And at that point, you can make a decision as to how to solve uh, for the variable. Um, then you want to check your solution or solutions. Sometimes you'll get more than one answer. And the reason why that's important is that your answers don't always work in the original equation. And one thing that you want to keep in mind, that if you get a solution that results in division by zero, well, that's a problem because division by zero is undefined. And so if you do get um, a solution that when you plug in, you end up dividing by zero, you would consider that answer to not be a solution. So despite all the work you did to find it, um, it doesn't always work. All right, so here's our first example. I have two over y plus five equals nine. The two over y is what makes this a rational equation. So first thing I do is identify the LCD. LCD is y. So now, I go to step two of the steps I indicated above, which is to multiply both sides by y. On the left side, you have to distribute. So when I distribute the y across two over, uh, two over y plus five, you get two, because the y's will cancel, um, plus, and then five y equals, and on the right side, because you multiply both sides by y, so on the right side, you get nine y. All right, so now I can see I have a linear equation, which means you need to get your y's on the same side. So I subtracted 5y um, from both sides, which gave me 2 is equal to 4y. Then divide by 4, that gives me 2 over 4, but when you simplify, that means that y is a half. So here on the right, I checked it. So you plug in 1 half in for y. So you have 2 divided by 1 half plus 5 and that question is, was, will the left side equal the right side, which is 9? Now, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So 2 divided by a half is the same as 2 times 2. Uh, we know that gives us 4 plus 5, which means that the left side is 9 as well as the right side. So it is a good solution. Solution is a half. All right, in the second uh, example, this is a little bit more complex. I have rational expressions on both sides of the equal sign. Here, the LCD is x plus 2. So we multiply both sides of the equation by x plus 2. All right, when we do that, um, our denominators are all going to cancel. So when you distribute x plus 2 to the first expression, you just get 2x, which is what you see here. But when you distribute it to the second one, well, 5, the minus 5, does not have x plus 2 in the denominator. So all you're going to do is multiply them or distribute um, here in the next line. And on the right side, well, that just cancels to just 7x. So now I'm left with the work that you see in line 2. I have to distribute the negative 5 across x plus 2, which is what I did here. So I have 2x minus 5x minus 10 equals 7x. Then on the left side, I combined like, like terms, so I get 2x minus 5x is negative 3x minus 10 uh, equals 7x. And then add 3x to both sides to get my x's um, on the right. So I get uh, negative 10 equals 10x. Then divide by 10, and you get that x is negative 1. So now we have to check it. So I plug in negative 1 into the original equation. So everywhere there's an x, you plug in negative 1. Um, so I get that negative 7 equals negative 7. So uh, that solution works. And we can go on to the next example. All right, this one is similar. This example is similar to the previous one. Um, it's a rational equation. 
and my LCD is x minus 3, and then I multiply both sides by x minus 3. So when you distribute to x, well, the x minus 3 is not going to cancel, so you just have to multiply them. But when you distribute to the next one, well, the x minus 3s will cancel, which is what you see um, on the second line. Um, and on the right side, they cancel as well. So I'm left with, when you distribute the x and you do the canceling, you're left with x squared minus 3x minus 6 equals 2x. So now you see that you have a quadratic equation. And the reason you know that is because of this term. With quadratic equations, you have to set them equal to 0, which means you have to subtract 2x to get, um, to get it over to the left side and so that it is in standard form like you see here. So x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0. So although there's many ways to solve quadratic equations, um, up until now, we only know how to factor. So this one is factorable. So we get x minus 6 times x plus 1. So you get two solutions, uh, 6 and negative 1. And if you were to check it, these both work. I really encourage you to check. The more you check, the better you get at evaluating um, expressions and simplifying numbers. I just didn't write it out for you. OK, this next one is, again, very similar. Here, the LCD is x plus 2. Multiply both sides by x plus 2. Um, things cancel, uh, which is what you see on this line. Uh, so you are left with 3x plus 6 minus 4 equals 2x. This time, this is a linear equation, not quadratic. You don't have any x squareds here. So you're going to want to um, uh, get your x's on one side and your constants on the other. So the first thing I did was combine like terms here, 6 minus 4. So we get 3x plus 2 equals 2x. Um, and then I subtracted 2x from both sides, so we get um, x plus 2 equals 0. Subtract 2 from both sides, you get that x is equal to negative 2. Okay, so this time when I plug in um, the negative 2, I end up with what you see here. I get 3 minus 4 divided by 0 equals negative 4 divided by 0. This is a problem. That's undefined. It doesn't exist. It's not a number. So although x equals negative 2, it all worked out very nicely here, it's actually not a solution. So your answer is just that there is no solution to this equation. In other words, there is no value of x that if you plugged it in on the left side, it would equal the right side. It's impossible. Okay, so let's move on. So here we have a little bit more work to do because we need to factor first before we identify the LCD. And the part that needs to get factored is this um, binomial here. That's the difference of perfect squares. So that's what I did first, and that's what you see in this line. So I have x over x plus 4 equals 11 over x plus 4 times x minus 4 plus 2. So the LCD is what they have in common, x plus 4, and the denominator they don't have in common, which is x minus 4. So the LCD is that product. So now is when I multiply both sides by that LCD. On the left side, um, you're multiplying the x plus 4 and the x minus 4 times x over x plus 4. Well, here the x plus 4s cancel, leaving me with x times x minus 4. And on the right side, um, when you distribute here to the first term, the, all of the, de the denominator cancels completely. Uh, but when you distribute to 2, you're going to have to multiply 2 by both of those binomials, which is what you see on the right side. Okay, so now we have to expand all of this, which is what uh, you see in this line here. Um, so on the left, you get x squared minus 4x. On the right, you get 11 plus... Now, I multiplied these first before I distributed the 2. So um, that's just x squared minus 16. Um, then in this line, I distributed 2 across x squared minus 16. So um, you can see that when you combine like terms on the right, you get 
x squared minus 4x equals 2x squared uh, minus 21. All right, so it certainly appears like we have a quadratic equation because I have two uh, squared terms, this one and this one. So I need to get um, all of the terms onto the same side. And since I like my x squared term to stay positive, I'm going to move the two terms on the left over to the right. So in other words, subtract x squared and add 4x so that your left side is zero. So when I subtract x squared from 2x squared, I get x squared. When I add 4x, I get plus 4x, and then there's the minus 21, and now this is in standard form. Um, so now we can factor two numbers that give me a product of negative 21, but a uh, difference of 4, that will be positive 7 and negative 3. So these are my factors, which means you get two solutions, negative 7 and positive 3, um, and this one also works if you were to plug them into the original equation. You get two solutions uh, for this. All right. So um, these next few are also rational equations, but more specifically, they are considered to be proportions. Um, a proportion, uh, you can use the same steps that we did in the previous examples, but you have another choice here with proportions that sometimes people find easier. So a proportion is um, one fractional expression equal to another. So if my first rational expression is a over b and my second one is c over d, well, we could solve this by doing something called cross multiplication. So in other words, you can multiply the a times the d and set that equal to the b times the c um, and then solve this equation. So you would do this instead of um, identifying the LCD um, and doing all the steps we did above, and this one would work uh, just as well. Okay, but not all um, rational equations are proportions, um, so I'll show you uh, the difference once we get through these examples. All right, so here's a proportion. First example, x over x minus 1 equals 8 over x plus 2. So you're going to multiply x times x plus 2, and 8 times x minus 1, which is what you see here in this line. Um, then you want to distribute on both sides, so you get x squared plus 2x equals 8x minus 8. Um, then uh, get uh, all of your terms on one side because it's, again, it is a quadratic equation because of that x squared. So I subtract 8x and add 8 leaves me with x squared minus 6x plus 8. Then we're looking for two numbers to factor that will give me a product of positive 8 and a sum of negative 6. So x minus 4 and x minus 2 work. Um, so we have uh, two solutions, 4 and 2. And I did the checks here um, on the right. They both work. So both um, 4 and 2 are solutions to this proportion. Okay, so here's another proportion. I have 2x over x plus 4 equals 3 over x minus 1. So again, cross multiply. That's what you see here. 2x times x minus 1 equals uh, 3 times x plus 4. Uh, so on the left and on the right, you distribute, which is what you see here. 2x squared minus 2x equals uh, 3x plus 12. Um, Again, you can see this is a quadratic equation because of the 2x squared. So I'm going to subtract 3x and subtract 12 to move it over to the left side. So you get 2x squared minus 5x uh, minus 12. Then um, you have to factor this. You can either use trial and error or the AC method. Um, so with trial and error, I know that I need 2x in the first position. Um, and then I need two numbers that multiply together to give me negative 12. So I know their signs will be uh, different. But remember, you need a negative 5 in the middle. So if you put a negative 4 here, this will give me negative 8. And the 3 here, that's uh, 3. So negative 8 plus 3 gives me um, the negative 5 that I need in the middle. Um, so... That means I have two possible solutions. Set each factor equal to zero. I have 2x plus 3 equals zero. 
and x minus 4 equals 0. So x is negative 3 halves, and x is equal to 4. Um, again, if you were to check these, these would work, um, and I encourage you to do that. So there are your solutions, negative 3 halves and 4. So um, let me just show you why uh, sometimes you cannot um, just cross multiply, and those would be the examples I did earlier. So if I had something like, um, so this is not a proportion. Um, so if I had 2 over x plus uh, 1 equals um, 7. So here you would not be able to cross multiply because I have this extra term here. So that makes it not a proportion. So the first few examples I did were not proportions, which is why we identified the LCD and multiplied um, both sides and so forth. But when you just have one fraction equal to another fraction, then cross multiplication is probably the quickest way to get these done. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Try the homework. Good luck.